Today I'm here in Kuala Lumpur Butterfly Park to do some macro work. And you know what? I hate that. Robin, tell yes. me tell me your secrets to those uh, gorgeous macro pictures that you make. I don't have any secrets. Uh, I share all my techniques uh, with everyone. You can find it on my blog or on Mintian's blog. Uh, so basically I use uh, a camera and a macro lens. Very important to have a macro lens. And uh, I hold this with one hand while I light my subject with the wireless flash, which I hold with another hand. So there you go, lighting sorted out with a diffuser. Uh, this is sort of like a mini soft box where uh, it will give you a very soft and even light on the subject. I usually would like to point the light slightly to the top over the head and slightly to the side of the subject. So it's a one point lighting uh, using flash and uh, fired wirelessly controlled from the camera. Yeah, that's it. There's no secret really. <laughs> but your images look so good. No, they are, I think they are not the best around. You can find a lot of better macro photographers out there. Uh, mine is still a work in progress. Uh, there is still a lot of uh, things to improve on. Uh, I can work a bit on my lighting. I can work a bit on my technique. I think it still requires a lot of refinement. That's why it's an ongoing experiment. All right, thanks. Let's go back and do some <laughs> okay, more pictures. Sure. Okay, let me tell you why I hate macro photography so much. This all happened a long time ago in the early 1980s. I had been in the business for about a year, shooting mostly for newspapers. My neighbor at the time was in dental business. She was selling tools for dentists, you know those uh, pins and hooks and pliers and uh, tiny little drill bits. And she asked me if I can shoot their product catalog. And of course I agreed. It would be my first proper like catalog shoot. Those products were tiny and there was a lot of them, several hundred different items. And I knew nothing about macro photography. Back then there was no YouTube to look for a nice tutorial or no online store to order some handy little cheap accessories at the last minute. And there was no way to fix anything in post, not at least the way we can today. As soon as I started the work I realized how severely I had underestimated how difficult it was to shoot those tiny little items. Eventually I finished the job and they printed their catalog but I can't really say I was proud of uh, my part. It's more than 35 years ago but I still remember it painfully. I usually take photos of people and the streets so I'm here today to take at least one picture of a bug. I'm surprised to see you here too. Yes, Prakash. I know right yeah this is not me at all. <laughs> I'm here shooting insects. Did, did, did you get a shot? I, I, I got one, one shot, one good shot. Yeah, which is, which is good. Will you come here again? I think so. I will try to like look for and, and see how I can shoot things in the house. In the house? Like you in, have a lot of bugs in your... Like Malaysian house is a lot of bugs. <laughs> Just cockroaches, uh, mosquitoes. Yeah, they, they are all around. So yeah. <laughs> This is a good place to find some insects really easily. Don't have to go very far from the city. They will charge you 25 ringgit to get in if you're a tourist, but I think it's still worth it. It's not that bad. So far it's been a pretty good day. Maybe I'm getting over my disgust uh, towards macro photography. All right, I'm back into my office here in KL. It looks like I may have to revise my attitude towards macro photography. I mean, it's two different things, of course, to shoot uh, products in a studio for a client and box in a park for fun. I don't think I could still accept a, a, a job that involves a lot of macro photography, but I think I may be able to enjoy it for fun. I think it's really high time to forget the nightmare that happened almost 40 years ago. As a matter of fact, this summer I think I have to try that for myself and see if I can have fun with macro photography. Please like this video, subscribe to this channel and uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.